Hey everybody, it's Ashley from the Art Factory. Today I'm going to be using this number six Art Factory brush and some fusion black paint and we're going to be showing you how to draw eyes. Now these are super important for all of your animals and characters so I hope it'll help you out. First we're going to load up our brush with black and then we're going to draw the letter D. Now for the curved part of the D we're going to make it come together like a point almost like a really fat triangle and we're going to do the back of the D in a curve as well. We're going to fill it in with an oval and a circle and then shade that middle part in with black. So let's draw it again. There's the curve, the point, two curves, a half circle, and then fill in the bottom. And then you got a really super cute eye. If you want to make it look girly, you can just add some long eyelashes. Now here I drew a check mark, a little Nike swoosh, and this is going to be a scary eye. So it's the same thing. You draw the super scary check mark, the D, and then you fill it in with a circle and then you leave part of it blank and fill in the rest and it gives you that pupil and highlight all in one go. If you want to make it look reptilian, draw the letter V instead of a big circle. Here we go, we're just drawing some different options. Right there I've decided to skip the highlight and I just did a really skinny little thin line in the middle. It makes it look uh, very cool for dragons and snakes and things like that. Another super simple eye is just drawing a circle. You can add a one little eyelash if you'd like or you can draw the number eight and then fill in around it and give yourself some instant little highlights a few little flicks of the brush and it gives you some really cute little eyelashes this is the same d but exaggerated so i made it really long and thin and then i added another line on top to give it that sort of eyelid look this is a what i call the moon over the hill so you draw a little hill you draw the moon rising over it and then you draw the pupil in the middle Draw a little line on top for the eyebrow, and you're done. You got a super cool, cartoony little eye. This one is just an oval, same concept. And then you pull a line down from the top, make it like a giant comma mark, and it looks kind of like this kind of uh, simple, cutesy eye. That eye, I just flip the triangle to the top instead of the side. You can do them in any direction you want. It looks cool no matter what. These are really easy and simple. There's an oval with a circle. Ooh, and then I threw the evil eyebrow check mark on top of it without touching. So you can put them touching, you can put them uh, above it. Here's how to draw the check mark eye. You can make it thicker, thinner. You can make the eye coming off of it thin. You can add some little wrinkles. Everything you do that changes the eye will make it look different. So you can make the expression look happy, sad, scary, mad. Um, of course, you can feel free to go back in this video and watch again, but I'm just kind of running through all of the typical eyes that I draw here. It's just a half circle with eyelashes coming off of it. I mean, some of these are not complicated. Uh, a less than symbol makes a great squinty eye, um, an X for something that died, <laughs> a circle with some eyelashes, and again, circle, circle, fill in the middle. See, super cutesy, almost looks like a wing on a bird. Uh, this eye is a little bit more realistic. I drew kind of an almond that came to a point. Circle, circle, filled in the middle. Add a little top eyelid part. This is a half circle with the circle coming off the bottom instead of the top. And this will just give you kind of a more realistic looking eye that you can draw. Little eyelid line. These are so easy. Um, here I've just drawn just the lash line. Um, so just like as if you're doing like a cat eye for makeup. Just thin to thick to thin in a little S curve, add a circle, a circle, fill in the middle. <laughs> Can you uh, get the pattern now? I think it's I think it's pretty obvious how I typically uh, draw my eyes. I love to do circles with circles inside for the highlights. Uh, this is just a super silly eye. It's a half circle with two half circles on top and then two small pupils and then two little eyebrows. That one's great for like frogs or super cartoony characters. Oh, this is just a crazy eye. So I drew the circle, the circle, the another half circle, and then I'm filling in the middle, but I drew little tiny squiggly lines on the bottom for like veins. Like, so the eye was like dry and crazed and red. Um, it's perfect for like scary looking eyes. Um, this one is great that I'm drawing right here. It's really big. Sometimes you'll get a person who's like bald and they want you to paint eyes in the back of their head, which is always a really funny request. Um, here's an eye that you can draw on the back. You draw the circle and then you draw your almond shape around it. Draw some eyelashes. Make sure your eyelashes point outwards and not straight up. <laughs> kind of give them a little curve. It makes them look better. Add some lines in the iris. And you're done. 
Let's try that again with a different kind of eye. We're going to do the top lid. Looks like an almond. Half of an eye so the eye looks kind of sleepy. Circle, circle. And then a spiral in the middle to make it look like it's hypnotic. And then I put an angry eyebrow as if someone were a uh, scary character trying to hypnotize somebody. Again, the almond with the circle. Oh, this is a goat's eye. So um, different animals have different pupils inside their eyes. Uh, check it out. This is also the eye that uh, they have on Kermit the Frog. It's kind of a fun eye. And there's just a circle with a spiral. Again, kind of kooky, crazy looking eye. Um, so here real quick is a unicorn. I just want to kind of show you where to place the eye on a unicorn. I know people have that issue. So I'm just really quickly drawing the basic head shape of a unicorn. And then I'm going to draw... a. X, like a little crisscross lines. And what you want to do is you want to have your eye right where those lines would meet. Now, normally you don't draw those eyes. You just imagine those lines in your head and you would put the eye where it meets. But this just gives you kind of a rough idea of where to put it on a unicorn. Now I'm drawing a dragon. And when I do a dragon design, I like to put the eye, same thing. I'm going to draw the imaginary crisscross lines above the mouth. So you want to put it kind of right there where those lines intersect. I'm doing the scary eye. I'm going to put in my little half circle and fill it in. And there you go. Scary eye for a dragon, cutesy eye for a unicorn. I hope this was a quick and easy demo showing you dozens <laughs> of different eye options. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.